Hi everybody, happy Monday. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Instead of a painting or a drawing, I'm gonna show you uh, something else that I like to make. Um, we, I'll be assembling uh, two of these trees today. I've already made the trees. Those take a little bit of time, like a couple hours. So I'm not gonna be filming that. <laughs> but uh, this is the end result. So I just, um, Use some wire and, and beads and, and make these little trees. And they make me happy. I love the way that they catch the light. And uh, they're just whimsical and fun and in a happy place. So, <laughs> happy trees. <laughs> so then, um, I've made those for a while. I used to put them on little jars uh, with, with beads and different findings inside of them. And then I started turning them into lamps using these little uh, battery powered um, fairy lights I think is what the popular term is for them so here's one that I assembled this morning um, just you know whatever jars you can you you find and you save like these are from um, those Martinelli's sparkling apple cider uh, juices I, I saved the bottles scrubbed off the label and um, this one has lights in it too so I put the lights inside and then I secure them around the opening of the bottle and also on the the bottom because they do twist around outside because they're connected to the battery pack uh, battery pack okay. this tree isn't that neat now sometimes the beads you know you have to find um, beads that will fit on the wire because different gauges of wire may be too wide for the opening of some beads and um, I mean too thick for the opening of some beads and just right for others so sometimes I find that I you know, I'll run into a trouble problem with that or sometimes the beads uh, the hole in the bead wasn't formed properly and then that can be another issue too um, I put the wire on the opening of the bottle first, and then just wrap it around. Because I leave these little roots here when I make the trees. They look cool, and they also serve a purpose when it comes time to attach them. <laughs> I love the beads on this one. These, see this? The colors in them, they're fun. And I had these gears um, left over from some jewelry that I made. I didn't need all of them. I still have some left over, actually, but I thought that would be kind of neat. Something else to look at on the... I call them lamps. <laughs> I call these my dream trees. And these are my dream tree lamps. I'm not usually looking around my phone and keeping them <laughs> in a video to make these, so this is also a new experience for me. But, And sometimes I might need some extra wire. Um, this might not be enough to keep it steady, so I may have to cut, out, cut off another piece to finish this one up. I like these all, I like making these also um, because they kind of keep me busy. Like, it's if I have some a lot on my mind, you know, some people might knit or or crochet. I like to do wire working. If the drawing or painting, like I want to create something, but you know, I don't feel like painting or drawing that day. It gives me another medium to work with. And the wire, it's pretty easy to find. Just about any craft store has it. Um, I think even. Some grocery stores, like like Walmart has it, you know, Target, places like that. Not sure if I'll do a video on how to make the, the trees. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> and really, it was just kind of winging it. Oh no, my alarm's going off and I can't find my... Excuse me just a minute. 
didn't realize it was what time it was or I would have shut that off ahead of time. I don't have the fancy editing tools to cut that part out yet. <laughs> yeah, and see, I don't like it when it's so loose like that. So I'm going to um, cut this bit off and then get some more wire out. To secure that a little bit more if you need. So twist it. And you always, if you decide to try making these or with any other wire working projects, probably you know, you know, you want to curve the ends under because they can be sharp. I know there's a tool, I just don't have one yet. I haven't been able to get it. Um will actually round the edges of wires of wire like this. So you don't have to just tuck it in to the tuck it un roll it up and tuck it under. It'll um it it just kind of it like dulls the end of it. I don't have one of those. So. I feel like I'm a little rambly today. I got used to <laughs> I got used to talking and um and painting and drawing a little bit but now my brain's trying to adjust to doing the working on these and talking at the same time so uh, excuse me for that <laughs> And this is tricky because you want to make the wire twist it so that it's tight, so that it holds on the holds the tree on, because that's all that's holding it to the bottle, you know. But if you twist it too much, the wires will break. And then if you're like me, I I tend to I start feeling guilty. Like, oh no, I wasted the wire. Ugh. I can't remember what gauge wire this is that I'm working with. Does it say on here? 18 gauge. So. I, th I think I might be giving you some misinformation here, but it seems like I think it's is it the lower the number, the thicker the gauge? There's something weird with that. I don't know. When I go shopping for wire, I just pick up one and I'm like, I like this one, this will work. <laughs> yeah. See how it's, it's not as, doesn't swivel as much? That's what I want. I can either keep twisting this or I can cut off the ends. Probably just... There have been times when I've made like four or five of these trees in one day. And I love to line them up and look at them like a little forest. But then my hands hurt so much later on. <laughs> okay, so that's this one. And uh, try to get the battery pack out of your way so you can see. Ooh, ah. All right. Turn off the light on it too so you can see the... The fairy lights inside there. And they're really nice too when you're maybe if you're like watching a movie or trying to fall asleep just to have them on. It's not like an obnoxious light. It's just a really peaceful light at night too. This one I love because of all the wooden beads on it. Aren't those cool? And orange is my favorite color. I really like this one. It's all really neat. This one has lights in it, but I don't have batteries in the battery pack, but it did come with one of those little tester buttons, so ta-da! And same thing. I um, should probably do that on camera. I have it stretched up way up high. So the little roots 
and just slide the wire through there. Line it up on top of the opening to the bottle. Feed the wire through another root. Not used to explaining my process on these. <laughs> and then I twist it just a little bit to secure it. Well, secure it, stabilize it. It's cool too because the it'll still even though you have so many pieces of wire um, that make up the tree, it is still flexible to bend it in the branches or the trunk in whatever direction. And I usually don't worry about that too much until the end of it because with me handling it to attach it to the bottle, it'll get out of sorts again anyway. And then the loops on here that are created from when the wire was first attached to the bottle. I like to feed the, um, feed the wire through that. It's really just a learn as I go kind of thing. I didn't look up any tutorials or have anybody teach me. I just thought, oh, that makes sense to me. I'm gonna try it that way. And I did it. Same thing with making the trees themselves. Like, you can't forget to wrap the wire around here a few times too. And you don't want the wire to stick too far out. So just bring it through. I'll probably end up having to uh, use another piece of wire to but I don't have a lot of green left. I only have a little piece left. So. Somebody's driving something noisy outside. <laughs> you guys see how loose that is? I don't like that. Still gonna try to keep today's video so it's not longer than 15 minutes. So got about two minutes left. Once I get my computer in order and I can edit videos to do time lapse, I'll probably try doing a time lapse on making the tree themselves. But I'm not sure when that will be, so. Won't we'll give you guys a any kind of time frame for that to keep an eye out for that. And just keep going until you use up the piece. That's what I do anyway. Someone else may have, if they make anything like this, may have a different way that works better for them. Yeah, the tree's a little wobbly. So. Me on those pliers. It's a lot of these are a lot of work, and there have been times where I wanted to do them. I had a hard time doing it because um, 
never hurt too much. So, that's okay. All of a sudden I had a thought to check and make sure I was still in still in view of the camera. I didn't slide it off screen or anything. Alright. See that root that was going into the bottle? Right there. I just attached this piece to it. Try to keep the tree from being too lopsided. So I'm going over the 15 minute mark, but not by much. Is that thunder? I've been getting rain a lot, so I'm. My dogs would probably prefer the thunder to the fireworks, so. <laughs> they don't care as long as they get treats. And then, yeah, if the light gets too loose on the outside of it, just twist the bottom part and it'll settle down. Uh, trying to figure out which part to slide that through, if I can get it through the trunk at all. I think that was the original wire that tied it down. And this little root. Like so. See, it's almost off camera. <laughs> Exit stage left. <laughs> All right. And there we go. Eh. Almost got him. I'm also doing this without my glasses. Probably not the best choice. <laughs> okay, so. Ta da! And like I said, you can. The branches can always be manipulated after. Ooh! I don't know what that noise was. What kind of monster. <laughs> See? And then. Pull the camera back a little bit. Hope it doesn't fall off the table. You have those two. The same beads on both, but just different color wire. And then this one. Bring that one on. Ta-da! All right. So, thank you everyone for watching my videos and spending, choosing to spend your time with me. As always, I really appreciate it. So, any critiques, comments, questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like this video or any of the other videos that I make, please share them on your social media pages. I hope that your week is off to a great start, and it only keeps getting better from here. Have a great day. Take care, and I will see you back here with something new tomorrow. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.